Hi everyone, hi guys. All right, it is good to see you all for our stretch and renew class here today. So any sort of props or anything that you may like to use if you wanna take one of your phone blocks or if you don't have a phone block at home, even if you have a little tiny towel or anything like that and you wanna take yourself and sit right on it, I'm gonna show you from the side. So what you're doing is you're just literally sitting on the edge and allowing those hips to move forward, nice. And then crossing the legs. Now if you find that your knees are also really high, you can also grab other props, which may be blocks, or it may be books from your house. You can grab those as well. Any other props that you may need to get before you get started here is that it would be really nice if you guys had a strap. If you have even a robe strap or a tie or a belt, that would be really awesome. If you also have like just a little bit of extra cushioning for underneath the knees, something that is just a little tiny bit extra, just in case you need that too. We like to use these little foam blocks like this. So you can use a gardening foam block, you can use, again, just another little bit of towel or anything, and then a bolster if you would like to have that as well. Bolsters also can be replaced by a nice good pillow, or you can also use a cushion from your couch. So whatever you may like, whatever may be best for you here today. We're gonna start off just with some breath work. Again, if you want to prop anything under those knees, if that makes you feel a little bit better here as we sit here, you can grab for whatever works best as we get started. All right, very nice. So slowly taking your hands to your knees. Slowly starting to float those eyes to close for a couple of more minutes here as we get ready today for our class. Forgetting all the busyness of your mind, take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. One more time, take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. And then let's inhale, roll those shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. Inhale, roll your shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. One more time, inhale, roll those shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. Rooting down through those hip bones, but rising up through the crown of the head, tucking the chin into the chest ever so slightly. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then start to exhale all the way out through the nose. Starting to seamlessly have the length of your inhalation match the length of your exhalation. Inhale ever so deeply. And exhale ever so deeply. And then starting on the next breath, to start to incorporate that ujjayi breath. Breathe from the back of the throat, create a ha sound, or the sound of the ocean tide. We make this breath by keeping the mouth closed. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale, and exhale. Using your deep, audible breath throughout your practice is going to help you better achieve your poses with fresh, warm air. Warm blood to those muscles. Take another deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And on the start of the next breath, if you'd like to set an intention for your class, here is a beautiful time to do so. Seeing your intention in the here and in the now, work from it, work with it. Take another deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then when you are ready, 
Start to flip your palms down towards the earth. Start to give those knees a little bit of a rub, stimulating into your nervous system and slowly and gently open those eyes. Hi to everyone else joining us right now. And then when you are ready, what we're going to do is we're going to nice and gentle, we're going to go and we're going to grab for a strap or any of our other things like a belt or any of that thing, which is basically anything that we can hold out all the way out. And we're just going to place it to the side of us for now so that we have it ready for us. And then just make sure that your feet are nice and tight into your body here now. If you still want to use those blocks underneath your knees, you can, but just keep the feet close into the groin. And then once you've adjusted there, start to take your strap and take it nice and wide. So basically it's about a little bit wider than your knees distance apart. Yay. And then nice and gentle here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those arms straight out in front. Roll those shoulders a little deeper into the back. And then we're gonna inhale, rise those arms all the way up overhead. And then when you're ready, you can slide that strap a little farther if you need and start to take those arms behind you here until you feel that nice pull here. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out, loosening a little bit through those shoulders. Inhale. And on the exhalation, see, just see if you can take those arms now all the way down behind you or as far back as possible here as you start to open up here through the shoulder girdle. And then inhale, rise the arms up overhead. Ooh, good stretch. And then exhale, take them all the way out in front. Making that motion a little tiny bit more fluid. Now let's inhale, rise those arms up overhead. Exhale, slide the arms all the way down as far as you can. Inhale, rise the arms up overhead. And then exhale, allow those arms to float down in front. One more time, inhale those arms up overhead. And then exhale, slide those arms all the way back. And then hold here, open up through that chest here and start to allow the chin to gently reach towards the sky as we start to open up and fire through that thyroid gland. Take another deep breath in. And on the exhalation, start to rise those arms all the way up overhead and slowly allow those arms to come all the way out in front. Release that trap, hands come to the knees and just rock here through those shoulders, nice and gentle. Breathing in and breathing out. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna feed it through your body. I'm gonna mirror you, but sorry people on Instagram, I know it doesn't actually mirror. And then take the opposite hand to the hip and all you're going to do is you're gonna slowly start to allow your shoulder to reach towards your knee and you're gonna turn your chin up towards the sky here and then start to drop that shoulder down towards the knee. Nice, beautiful work. We have lovely Michelle here with us today as well back in the back of the studio for our social distancing. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Nice work opening up into that shoulder girdle and then perhaps on the next breath you can bring that shoulder a little tiny bit closer towards that knee, still allowing that chin to face up to the sky to really rev into that metabolism. Rolling the opposite shoulder though into the back. Nice and gentle, start to rise yourself to center. Start to fold your opposite arm through, opposite hand comes to the hip. And start to guide that shoulder down towards the knee as you turn your chin up towards the sky. Nice gentle motion here as we start to open up through those side obliques as well. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out, rolling the opposite shoulder into the back, remaining loose here through the jaw. You can start to allow the shoulder to drop a little closer to the knee if that is possible and your body allows that. One more breath just like this. And then nice and gentle, start to rise yourself all the way back through center. From center, what you're gonna do is you're either gonna grab one of your blocks or one of your books or whatever you like, 
and then just start to see if you can slide that block out in front of you here. Taking it to a level that you can feel that opening in your lower lumbar spine. I'm going to come to the side of you as well so you can see what that looks like. So really making sure that we're hinging here forward from our hips and rather than from our shoulders. So we aren't rolling forward through the shoulders here. I'll get the strap out of your way. What we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves forward here and start to drop ourselves down. Making sure that there is no rounding in those shoulders here. You can keep your hands on your block here and drop that head down or if your range of motion allows you to, you can start to take your forearms down to the earth and then perhaps you can take your head down towards that block. If you do not feel that you need the block at all, I'm going to come back to center so you can see what we're going to do. If you do not need the block at all, you need to roll those elbows out to the sides of the room to open up into your collarbone as you gently start to take your head down towards the earth. Wherever you are at, keep the breath in the body, flew through, flew a little left, flowing through the body. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. I've noticed our music has stopped as well, so I'm gonna start that back up. You have three more beautiful breaths here. Do your best to roll those shoulders down into the back and loosen through that jaw. Taking another deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale. And then the exhalation here, slowly, 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 start to pull that block back into your body if you are using a block. Nice and gentle here. When you remain, rise all the way to center. And then scoop your front foot up and fold it in and allow that other foot to come out. And then just adjust, make sure that your hips are even here. And then nice and gentle, take that block back out in front of you. And then slowly start to slide that block all the way out in front. Perhaps you are taking your forearms to the earth here. Perhaps you're sliding that block a little closer so you can take your head to that block. Or perhaps you are not using the block at all and you're making sure that you're rolling the elbows out to open up into that collarbone as you gently place your head to the earth. Allowing us to open up into those hip flexors on the opposite side. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale and exhale here. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back here. Notice that relationship, that correlation between a tight jaw and tight, just tight, tight shoulders. Loosening through that jaw allows you to open up through those shoulders a little bit more. Take another deep breath in, and then deep breath out. Opening up here, feeling those hips expand and open. Two more giant breaths just like this. And then when you are ready on your own time, start to pull that block back into the body. And then nice and gentle, just place that block out to the side. Hands come to the knees. Rock through those shoulders a little tiny bit. And then when you are ready, what we're going to do is we're going to take our feet out to the sides here. And then nice and gentle, you're going to place your feet into your star position. Now if you feel better to kind of rock yourself off of your prop here, you can if you want to remain seated on that prop you can. Now the difference between star and butterfly pose is that star we have the feet a little farther out in front of us. I'll show you from the side as well. So star pose the feet are farther out. In butterfly we have our feet much closer in. So we're actually coming into star here today because we're going to keep opening up into that lower lumbar spine. So coming into star pose what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands to our heels and again being sure that we are rotating here from our pelvis here. We're gonna keep the chest open for as long as possible as we rock ourselves forward. Star pose, you can take your hands to the top of your feet here and push the shoulders down into the back, really opening up here through the shoulders. All the muscles of your scapula and sternum here are opening up as well. From here, if you have the range of motion, you can start to take your elbows out to the sides and start to drop them down towards the earth. 
If you have the range of motion here, you can start to take your head down towards your feet. Ideally, in time, you would like the top of your feet to be resting on the top of your head. So coming right in so that the top of the feet crown the head coming into full star pose. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. The awesome thing about this pose as well is that in Sanskrit, this pose is called Tara. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back and really feel the difference here of how you're opening up into that lower lumbar spine and less so into the hip flexors. Two more gorgeous breaths just like this. And then when you're ready, slowly and gently you start to rise all the way up. Nice and gentle here now, what you're going to do is you're going to start to pull those feet into the body a little tiny bit more. Perhaps again using those blocks underneath the knees if that feels better for you here in butterfly pose. Or you can allow the knees to fall towards the earth, whichever you prefer, whichever works best for us. Let's hold on to those heels and lift up through the chin and chest. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to release the feet and we're going to lift the arms up and we're going to take our right arm and we're going to wrap it around the left here. Now, if this does not feel good, if this is too much for you, you can just take your hands to your shoulders. Nice deep breath in here. On the exhalation, what we're going to do is we're going to start to rock either the shoulders or the hands and eagle forward here and allow that chin to tuck into the chest and drop down. Nice deep breaths in and deep breaths out here. Use your breath. Inhale and exhale. One more beautiful breath. And then slowly and gently start to rise all the way up. Unravel those arms. Reach them up to the sky. Exhale opposite direction with that bind. Or if this really does not feel good, take your hands just to the shoulder. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back here. And then when you are ready, again, rocking forward from the pelvis rather than from the shoulders, you're going to start to rock yourself forward and drop that head down, chucking, tucking your chin into your chest. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Loosen through that jaw so quickly it's going to try to tighten back up. Inhale. And on the exhalation, slowly and gently start to rise all the way up. Unravel those arms. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, fly those fingertips now in behind your back here. Fingertips behind the back here. Lift up with that chin and chest here. Really open here. Take a deep breath in. Navel pressing to the spine. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back. Start to hinge a little tiny bit into those elbows and push that chest a little higher to the sky. One more time, hinging a little tiny deeper into those elbows, pushing the chin and chest higher to the sky. And then exhale, bring yourself back to center. Nice and gentle, fold the feet in towards the body. If you are sitting on a prop here, take that out and take your feet to about max distance apart. Fly your fingertips back behind you here and just such a windshield wiper, those legs side to side. Allowing that release here through that lower lumbar spine and through those hip flexors. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then when you are ready, cross those ankles in. Nice and gentle here, making sure you have enough room on your mat. Slowly start to take yourself up into a tabletop position. So tabletop position, let's really check in that the hands are directly below the shoulders and that the knees are directly below the hips. Rolling those shoulders really deep here into the back. Let's slowly start to drop our tummies down towards the earth. Roll the shoulders even deeper now into the back. Turn the chin and chest to the sky as you roll the eyes with the elbows and towards each other. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale here, start to arch that spine and turn your gaze towards your navel. Inhale here for cow pose, drop that tummy, look up to the sky, roll the shoulders into the back. Exhale. 
exhale here for cat pose arch through that spine. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat, really exaggerating this motion. Inhale for cow. And then the exhalation coming into your neutral tabletop position, nice and gentle. Start to tuck your toes under here. And then start to sink your weight back towards those heels as you start to drop that head down, really waking up here into those feet. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, start to ripple yourself forward here, tabletop position, untuck those toes and toss up those feet. Tuck your toes under, rock your weight back, drop that head down here. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, rippling yourself forward here. Untuck those toes and pulse out those feet. And now what we're going to do here is you're going to start to walk your knees a little tiny bit back onto the mat. Sandwich your toes together. Start to rock your weight in towards your hands. And then start to push your way back. We're really opening up here through the wrists here. You're rocking your weight all the way forward and then pushing yourself all the way back. Rock your way all the way forward, and then push your way all the way back. Rock that way all the way forward, and then push your way all the way back. Three more times, rock that way all the way forward, Push the way all the way back. Option your last two. If you like, when you rock yourself all the way forward, you can tuck those toes, pick up those back knees. Rock your way back, heels press back. Rock that way forward. Rock the way back, heels press back. If you are still on those knees, take them nice and wide, everyone. And sink yourself all the way back here now into a child's pose. Arms can be reaching up overhead here, or arms can come to the sides of the body, whichever you prefer. Rolling the shoulders into the back so quickly they're going to try to creep up to those ears. If you want to take a block to place your head on the block, you can if that suits you. Whatever feels good here as we get that nice frontal lobe part of your brain onto a block, onto a surface. Any time that we feel overwhelmed, this is always really great. This area of the brain is called the frontal lobe. It's what controls emotions in your body. So any time that we can cool that is really beneficial. Taking a couple more breaths here as you allow those heels to sink towards the earth, your bum to sink towards your heels. Roll the shoulders deep into the back. Take another deep breath in. And then nice and gentle here, let's start to rise out of that child's pose. Coming back into that tabletop position. Tabletop position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna rock our hands now in towards our body. Keeping as much of a bend here in the knees as possible. If this is too much for you, you can always grab for those blocks and raise your hands up higher to you. So you still get that really, really great stretch into the forearm, into the wrists, but we're not putting too much pressure on there. So see what feels best for you. From here again, we're just simply going to rock a little tiny bit forward and then release a little tiny bit back. This can be quite sensational, so really work with what works for you. Rock a little bit forward and then take it a little bit back. Nice work. Three more times, a little bit forward. Rock it a little tiny bit back. It's amazing how a little tiny move like this can cause so much sensation. Forward and back. One more time, forward. And then taking it back nice and gentle, start to release those hands back down to the earth. Take your fingers, spread them nice and wide, roll the eyes of the apples in towards each other and tuck your toes under. Resting your navel here to the spine. Let's lift those knees off of the mat for a second. 
and then place those knees down onto the mat and just roll here through those shoulders, waking it all up. And then when you are ready, coming back into that neutral tabletop position, pressing into those palms, lift those knees off of the mat, navel pressing to the spine here, nice flat back. Take those knees to the earth and start to rock here side to side, opening up those hip flexors a little tiny bit more. And then when you are ready, neutral tabletop position, roll the eyes of the eyelids in towards each other here. Option to stay like this in your lovely tabletop position or toes tucked under. You're lifting those knees, bending into those elbows and pushing yourself all the way up and back into your very first downward dog of the day. Downward dog of the day, let's pedal those heels here up and down and lightly and gently shake that head here. Yes and no. Inhale and exhale here and then let's come up high onto our toes and then sink those heels towards the earth. Come up high onto those toes and then sink the heels towards the earth. One more time, high onto those toes and then sinking your heels towards the earth. Pause here for a moment, roll those shoulders deeper into the back, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, take those knees nice and wide. Flatten the feet on the mat. Sink yourself all the way down into your child's pose. The breath is even in and out through the nose. You are sinking your weight back towards those heels, rolling the shoulders into the back. The jaw is loose. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. And exhale here, and on the start of the next breath, slowly and gently taking your hands up overhead, rise yourself up into that tabletop position. Tabletop position, what we're going to do is we're going to roll our weight over into that right arm and right knee. And nice and gentle here, you're going to start to lift up that left knee and extend the foot behind you. Now rolling your weight evenly into that left hand, shoulder is firm here. You're going to see, just see if you can start to walk those right fingertips out in front of you here. If you want to take your fingertips to a block here, you can. If you would like to extend the arm all the way out, you can. Wherever you are at, the breath is even in and out here through the nose, rolling the shoulder deep into the back, starting to fire through that core here as we start to flex that back foot here, keeping the hips in line with each other here. Take another deep breath in. And on the exhalation here, starting to work that core, we're gonna to start to take our elbow in towards our knee here and squeeze it in as our forehead comes to meet towards that knee. And then exhale, extend it all the way out. Bring the elbow and knee in towards each other, squeeze, and then extend it all the way out. One more time, elbow and knee come to meet, squeeze, and then extend it all the way out. Pause here for a moment, see if you can keep that hand lifted, leg lifted, take a deep breath in. And on the exhalation here, nice and slow, see if you can start to take your forearm to the earth on that side. If this is really challenging, you can always take your forearm to a block as well. Wherever you work from is great. You're gonna to start to rotate your hips towards the side of the room. Nice work, and then you can come up onto your fingertips here if you like, and if you'd like to challenge that balance, you can see if you can take your hand to your head. Now, only if you like, you can see if you can start to hinge at that back knee and see if you can start to reach back, catch that foot and open up here even further. Again, only an option just to open up that back even further. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. If you have that foot caught slowly and gently release it. 
Nice and gentle, start to take that hand down to the earth. Rock your hips to center and slowly start to slide your hands to the earth underneath you here. Good job, hips are back into that square position. You're rolling the shoulders deep into the back and you're hinging here at the knee. And from here, we're rolling the eyes of the elbows in towards each other here, but not locking the elbow joints. And we are pulsing that back leg up for five, four, three, two. And one, rolling the weight now firmly into that left hand. Let's see, just see. Can you lift that right arm back out? And can you perhaps sweep it back and see if you can catch the foot? Just see, if you've got the foot caught, you're rolling the hips to center and you're starting to kick back through that back foot and lift up the chin and chest. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. You're really working that core. Inhale. And on the exhalation, release that foot, release that hand, extend all the way through. And then gently lower the hand to the earth, lower the ball of the foot to the earth. Press evenly through those palms as you start to rock your weight back into that ball of the foot. And you're going to pull the right knee into the body a little tiny bit more to really allow yourself to really get into that back leg. If you find that this is really sensational here through that front knee, grabbing for any sort of extra prop or blanket to help you there is great. Roll those shoulders deeper into the back here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, slowly and gently, start to bring that knee into the body and start to rock those hips here, side to side. Beautiful work, inhale. And exhale here. And then nice and gentle here, starting to take the knees in towards the body. We're just gonna rock ourselves all the way back towards those heels. Inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, push them down the back. Inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, push them back. One more time, shoulders roll up towards those ears. And then exhale, pushing them down the back. We're going to inhale, rise the arms up overhead. Exhale, float those arms all the way down. Fly them out in front. Place your hands to the mat. Rise yourself up into that tabletop position. Tabletop position, spreading those fingers nice and wide. Knees are directly below the hips. Hands are directly below the shoulders here. Rocking all the sides of your hands into the mat here. Roll those shoulders deep into the back. Navel pressing to the spine. And when you are ready, we're gonna roll the weight now into that opposite side. And slowly and gently here, we're gonna start to take the opposite leg back. So right leg is now reaching back behind you. And then slowly and gently, let's start to lighten the load on that left hand and press your weight into your right hand. And see if you can start to lift that left arm up or again, see if you can just walk the fingers out in front. See if you can take your hand to a block or lift all the way up. Lots of steps, lots of stages, lots of options. Keep your navel pressing here to the spine. Nice tight core here. Breathe in and breathe out. Roll that shoulder into the socket. Inhale and exhale here. Loosen through that jaw. Head is nice at neutral position. Let's pull the elbow and knee in towards each other and allow the head to follow through here as you crunch it in. And then extend all the way out. Elbow and knee come in towards each other, crunch it in. And then extend it all the way out. One more time, elbow and knee come together, crunch it in. And then extending it all the way out here. Pause for a moment, roll the shoulder into the back, flex through that back foot. And then slowly make a loose fist with your hand in the sky and lower your forearm to the earth as you rock those hips towards the side of the room. Now, option to take your fingertips to the mat. Option to take your hand to the hip. Make sure there's no plants behind you that you're gonna hit. And then nice and gentle here. If your hand is on the hip, extend the arm to the sky if that is in your practice. Now, if you are wanting to go for more here, you can always reach back, catch that foot, 
and open up even further. Wherever you are at is awesome. It just depends on how deep of a stretch you're looking for. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Couple more breaths, just like this. And then when you are ready, release that foot if you have it caught. Release the hand in the sky, down to the earth. Opposite hand meets here as you hinge at that back knee. Squaring those hips, we're gonna pulse it up for five, four, three, two, and one, nice and gentle here, rolling your weight into that right hand. Let's see if you can scoop that left hand back and catch that foot. Nice and gentle, if you have the foot caught, start to kick back to that foot, lift up with the chin and chest, and hold. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale, and exhale, one more breath. Release that foot if you have it caught. Extend the arm all the way through. Pause here for a moment. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, place that hand to the mat. Knee floats all the way back. Press the ball of the foot into the mat here and start to press that heel back towards the back of the room as you start to lift the left knee more into center. Press evenly here as you hold. Nice deep breath in. And deep breath out again. If you need a prop underneath the knee here, you can grab for it. Roll those shoulders deep into that. As you really press into the ball of that foot here, take another deep breath in. And then deep breath out. Shoot that heel towards the back of the room, really opening up here, firing those still through that thigh. And then when you are ready, start to roll onto the ball of that foot. Start to bring those knees together. Start to take those legs out to the side. Hands come behind you here on your mat as your feet come all the way out in front. And then let's windshield wipe with those legs side to side. Opening it all up. Nice deep breaths in. And deep breaths out. Inhale. And on the exhalation here, nice and gentle, bring those feet back out in front and start to slide the feet all the way out here and flex those feet. Nice and gentle again, rotating here from the hips rather than from the shoulders here. Let's start to walk those hands all the way towards your feet. Now, if you can catch the feet, awesome. If you can't catch the feet, grab for that strap that we used in the beginning of our class. Take the strap over the balls of those feet and start to rock yourself forward. Now again, when you're rocking yourself forward, I want you to be rocking forward from your pelvis here. So I'll show you. So rather than going like this, we wanna really make sure that we are rocking forward here from the pelvis. So we're bringing our chest towards our knees here. If you're using that strap, you're holding the strap as you pull forward. If you do not need the strap and you can take your hands to your feet, you are still making sure that your body is moving forward like so. From here, if you would like, and only if you would like, you can start to take those elbows out to the side. See if you can place them beside your legs and then fold all the way forward with the head. You can tuck the head close towards the knees and that is the only part that you're actually tucking. The rest is always moving forward here. Nice deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Wherever you are at is awesome. Inhale, and exhale here. We're just gonna hold here for a couple more beautiful breaths. Breathing in, and breathing out. Be sure those shoulders are rolling down into the back. Inhale, and exhale here. One more glorious breath, just like this. And then nice and gentle here, if you have that strap, release that strap and start to walk yourself all the way back up here, taking those fingertips behind the back here, lift up with that chin and chest, keep those shoulders rolling down the back and keep a bit of a bend in those arms. Now option here to point the toes. Option here to start to lift up that chin and chest even further. Option to start to lift that bum off the mat if that is in your practice and option to drop that head back. 
only if that is in your prop, in your practice here. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale slowly and gently, switch it lower that bum towards the earth. Flex the feet and rock your weight forward. Inhale, rotate your weight back, open up through that chest here, bend into those elbows, point the toes. Option to stay here or press evenly into those palms, lift up that bun and drop your head all the way back. Hips reaching to the sky, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower the hips towards the earth. Head follows through, flex the feet, rock your way forward. We're going to be doing that one more time. We're going to start to take our chest back, bend into those elbows, start to point the toes here, opening up to the chin and chest. If this is enough for you, perfect. If you like more, press into those palms, start to lift your hips, start to rock your head back. Take a giant deep breath in. And then exhale, slowly lower the hips to the earth. Flex those feet, rock your way forward. And then nice and down, start to sweep those hands underneath, tuck underneath those knees, feet come to max distance apart, fingertips towards the back of the room, up through that chin and chest, those windshield wiper those legs again. Opening everything up. Nice deep breaths in. And deep breaths out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, let's start to fold those feet into the body. Start to bring your hands out in front of you here. Press evenly through those palms as you start to rise yourself up into that tabletop position. Tabletop position, tucking the toes up under your body. Rise yourself up. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, looking up to those hands at the top of the mat. Let's start to walk our feet towards those hands. Fingertips now on the mat. Let's take our elbows here and let the crown of the head drop down towards the earth. We're going to inhale, roll ourselves to the right. Open up that side body. Exhale, bring yourself to center. Open up to the opposite side. Exhale, back to center. Open up to the right. Exhale to center. Open up to the left. Exhaling to center. Drop the fingertips down towards the mat. Keep as much of a bend in the knees as you need. We're going to inhale here. Halfway lift. Nice flat back. Exhale. Bring the crown of the head towards the earth. Head is going towards your knees. Scoop your hands behind your calf muscles here as you left. Your head drop all the way forward. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, take your hands to your shins. Halfway lift. Nice and gentle. Bow all the way forward. Inhale. Fly the arms out to the sides. Rise the arms all the way to the sides. You lift your chin and chest. Exhale, hands float to heart center. Hands float to the side of the body, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out here. Inhale and exhale. And then gently taking your right hand to your hip. You're going to slide that left hand all the way down the body and turn your gaze to the sky, furthering that open through that full side body. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, rise yourself to center. Opposite hand comes to the hip. Slide your opposite hand all the way down. Look towards the sky. Feel this opening through the whole side body here. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, rise yourself to center. Hands floating to the sides of the body. And then nice and gentle here, taking your hands to your lower lumbar spine, right above your bum. Start to sandwich your elbows in towards each other. And then nice and gentle, start to shoot your hips forward, taking your chin and chest up towards the side. A little mini micro back bend. Keep as much of a bend in the knees as you need. And then nice and gentle, start to rise to center. 
Allow the chest to fall forward. Fingertips fall down towards the mat. You can paddle your heels here up and down. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation, we're going to slowly and gently bring ourselves into that flat back tabletop position. Nice deep breath in. And then exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale here, fingertips come to the mat. What we're going to do is we're going to press evenly into those fingertips as we start to lift that left foot to the outside of that left hand. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to start to gently float that knee back. Now, this is really challenging. Take blocks to those hands and take them right underneath. So I'll show you coming just something like this. It's just as awesome. And you're going to shoot your hips back here, and you should feel this firing through that front thigh here. And you're gonna try your best to straighten the knees, but not walk the joints here. And you're gonna slowly and gently, seeing if you do or don't need the props here, roll your weight a little tiny bit forward into that front leg. You should feel a lot of sensation in the back of that front leg. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation, if you are using blocks, no problem. Just place your hand onto your shin and then take those blocks gently to the side. And then everyone else on your fingertips, roll your weight forward. Step your opposite foot now to the outside. And then from here, start to guide that opposite leg back, but not too far. And then again, if you need to grab for those blocks here, please do. Placing your hands on blocks if that feels best for you. You're going to start to rock your weight forward here. Again, feeling nice big stretch in the back of that leg here. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Coming into a standing modified version of lizard lunge. Breathe in and breathe up. Again, trying to bring the knees to straight, but if you need to put a bend into that front knee, you can by all means. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale here. One more breath. And if you had your hands on blocks, take your hands up to your thigh, or sorry, your shin. Take those blocks out, push them to the side, and then everyone, fingertips back onto the mat. You're going to take your feet now to the outside edges of your mat. Kind of pigeon toying your feet a little tiny bit here to the sides. And then nice and gentle here, what we're going to do is we're going to start to let that bum float down towards the earth here and take our hands to inside here, coming into goddess pose. Now, if you find goddess pose is a lot, you can take a block and prop it right underneath your bum. So you're literally sitting on a block and you're making sure that you're pushing those knees out to the side. No worries. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out wherever you are at is awesome. If you want to have that block, awesome. If you're not wanting that block, no problem. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take hold of our right wrist and we're just gonna allow that wrist to roll in circles here to kind of distract us from those legs. And then we're gonna pause and we're gonna take it the opposite direction. Just really crack out anything stuck in there to keep us far away from our arthritis for as long as we can. Push those knees back though. Make sure that they're not coming forward. We're really working here still. And then nice and gentle, take the opposite wrist here and start to roll through. Nice work. Quick cracky day it all out. And then let's go the opposite direction there. Nice work. Let it all out. And then when you are ready, fingertips coming to the mat in front of you here. Slowly and gently start to rise that bum out and just rock yourself here side to side. Let it all go. Nice deep breath in. And on the exhalation here, you're going to walk your fingertips all the way over to the right here. If a block is more appropriate, again, go for it. Use it. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, sliding that block back through center. If you're not using a block, that is awesome too. 
And then nice and gentle here, you're gonna start to walk that block over the opposite direction, rolling your weight here, opening up through the shoulder here as well. Take a deep breath in. Come and deep breath out. Inhale. On the exhalation, rolling yourself back to center. If you have a block, awesome. If not, just place yourself all the way forward. Those of us with a block here, keeping as much of a bend in the knee, allow the crown of the head to go towards that block. Those of us without a block, short legged forward fold, allow the crown of the head to go towards the earth. Taking a deep breath in. And a deep breath out in our short legged forward fold. Inhale. And the exhalation, if you have a block, place it to the side. And then everyone, nice and gentle, start to roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, melt that upper body forward. Taking the hands to the shins or to the ankles here, whichever works best for you. Inhale, roll through those shoulders up. And exhale, push it back. Nice deep breath in through those shoulders. And then exhale, push it all back. One more time, inhale through those shoulders. And then exhale, chest moving forward. Scoop the hands to the back of the calf muscles and see if you can lift up with that chin and chest. Really firing here through the backs of the legs, but also opening up through the shoulder girdle in through all the muscles again over the scapula and sternum. Open up. And then nice and gentle, take your hands to your thighs and reach yourself all the way up. Hands float to the side of the body. Start to bring your feet back in line with each other. Mountain pose, take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. And then we're going to inhale, fly those arms up overhead. Exhale, float all the way forward. Inhale here, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips walking up the mat. Place your hands down into the mat. Start to walk your feet all the way back, coming into a plank position. Plank position option, of course, to lower the knees to the mat and flatten the toes on the mat or you're remaining up in that plank. Roll the abs of the abs in towards each other here. Nice and gentle, start to hinge into those abs whether you're on your knees or up fully. We're gonna lower ourselves down to the mat for the count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and one beautiful work. Flatten your feet on the mat. Frame your rib cage here. Forehead comes to the mat. We're going to inhale. Come on up. Baby cobra. Exhale. Head comes down to the mat. Inhale. Come on up. Baby cobra. Exhale. Head comes down to the mat. One more time. Inhale. Come on up. Baby cobra. Exhale, take those arms into shrinks pose and roll the shoulders deeper into the back. If it is in your practice, you can turn your chin and chest more towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And then deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhalation, rotating your chin to center, what we're going to do is we're going to take our elbows really far out to the side and start to drop our chest down towards the earth. Hands are on the mat. You're just going to take your head down towards those hands, creating that little cradle here as you roll your shoulders deeper into your back. Taking a giant deep breath in here. And then the exhalation, lifting that chin up for a moment. We're going to take those arms all the way up into a letter T position and then slowly bring our chin down towards the earth. Now nice and gentle here, we're going to start to rotate that left foot into the body. Checking in that our right arm is straight out and that it's not too low or not too high, that it's nice and straight here. What we're going to do is we're going to start to roll onto that right shoulder and take our left foot over our body, turning our head the opposite direction to that extended arm behind us here. Now option here, you can take the left hand and you can either lift it up over your head if you like 
or you can wrap it right over your body and tuck it in wherever you are at, wherever feels good for you, or you can just leave that arm extended out in front of you. If you would like more out of this stretch, you can always extend that leg out further here, really opening up here into the shoulders and into the hip flexors here. We are going to be holding here for a few breaths, so make sure you are comfy. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out here. Use that breath, really work from that point of stretching, that point of opening. Inhale. And exhale here, use the breath all the way through the body, opening up as much as possible, inhaling, and exhaling here, feeling this expansion, this deep, deep, deep stretch. If you have that leg extended, slowly start to pull the foot into the body. And then nice and gentle here, start to roll your hips back to center. And then nice and gentle, roll the chin to center. And then checking in really quickly that your left arm is now extending all the way up, that it's not too high up or not too far down. Start to rotate that right foot into the body. And then nice and done, start to rotate that leg over the body. Now option, you can leave this arm right out in front of you. You can pull it in closer. You can take it up overhead. Or if you want, you can rock it all the way over the body and tuck the arm right underneath. Again, if you would like more out of that stretch with the back leg, you can extend it all the way out here. Opening up, taking deep breaths in and deep breaths out as we really get into that shoulder. Inhale, and exhale, nice rotational internal twist here as well for all of your abs, for your core, for your internal organs. Nice and gentle here. If you have the arm wrapped, you can unravel it. If you have that leg extended, start to fold the knee into the body, and then nice and gentle, start to rock your way back. From center, start to slide those hands, frame your rib cage. Inhale, come on up. Baby cobra into Sphinx pose one more time. Sphinx pose looking over that right shoulder towards your feet. Exhale, rotate your gaze to forward. Inhale, look over your opposite shoulder. And then exhaling your gaze to center, nice and gentle. Start to take that left arm, fold it through the body. Right arm comes over as you turn yourself all the way over. Nice and gentle here, rolling those shoulders deep into the back. You're going to bump your bum forward here. Hands still at the sides of your body. Lift up with that chest. You should feel a pull here through the arm, through the shoulder here. And it's simple motion. You're just tucking that tailbone under and then pushing your abdomen to the sky as well as that chest, feeling that pull through the shoulders, roll them into the back. One more time, drop your pelvis, drop your tummy down towards the earth, and then inhale, lift it up, look towards the sky, feel that pull through the shoulders. And then slowly and gently, starting to tuck the chin into the chest, pressing into your palms, start to rise, yourself all the way up and then lower those forearms down towards the earth. Ooh, nice and controlled. Let's lift ourselves all the way up. Nice work. And then exhale, bring yourself one more time all the way down. Good core strength. Rise yourself all the way up. Beautiful work. Scoop those legs and give yourself a giant hug. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's start to get ourselves ready for that final resting pose. Awesome, awesome work, everybody. If you would like to take a bolster or a pillow or something like that and have it underneath the legs, it's really kind of more restorative and nice for your body. If you would like to do that, I definitely welcome you to do that as you start to lower yourself down and just find that point under the knees that really allows your tailbone to tuck under and flatten completely. Hands coming to the side of the body as you tuck the chin 
into the chest here and then slowly allow those shoulders to melt completely into the earth here. Releasing through that jaw, really taking time now to be silent. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale here twice as long through the mouth. Ring that body of all that heat we created during our practice. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. Last time, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale twice as long through the mouth. And then when you are ready, releasing your tongue off of the roof of the mouth, interrupting conscious thought. Let yourself melt. Let yourself be. Beautiful deep breath in. And deep breath out. Slowly, slowly start to bring life back into that body. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then nice and gentle here, nice and slow, start to slowly roll those knees into the body. Mindful of your props if you did use them. And then slowly and gently pushing any props out from underneath you as you roll yourself gently over to the right. Pause there for a moment. Pausing on the right side of your mat for a moment before gently bringing yourself all the way back up into an easy seated position. Easy seated position, we're gonna inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, float your hands through your heart center. Clasp those hands, scan over your heart, over your body for any tension that still may be there. Grab hold of it and shake it out. Get rid of it. It's not serving us. So we don't want it. Floating those hands back to your heart center, allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to release. Bow your head down to your fingertips. Opening up into the back of the neck. Take a moment to thank yourself for your practice today. For giving this time back to you. And in that sense of gratitude, focus in on your intention. Seeing it in the here and in the now, take it with you. Move from it. Raising your hands to your third eye. The light within me salutes and recognizes the light within you. Thank you so much, everyone. Namaste.